Hi guys, my name is Alicia Aragon and today I am excited to bring you this fun doll look for Halloween. It's kind of like half cute yet half spooky. So if you guys want to see how to get this easy breezy beautiful doll look here, just keep watching. Alright guys, so first off I'm going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in Natural Ivory and I'm just taking this to my lids to serve as a base before we go in with our eyeshadow. This is just going to give you a nice clean canvas. Next I'm going in with the True Naked Eyeshadow Palette in Desert Heat and I'm taking this dark chocolate brown and I'm just starting to kind of cut my crease and give myself a bigger lid space than I actually have. Then I'm going back in with the True Blend Undercover Concealer to cut my crease and just really give me that exaggerated lid space. Next I'm going in with the True Naked Eyeshadow Palette and That's Rad and I'm taking this gorgeous shimmery teal shade and I'm placing that on one lid. I want this to kind of be my spooky side of the doll. And then I'm going to go back into the That's Rad Palette and take the matte teal shade to the pretty side of the doll. And I'm just packing that on my lid. This shadow is just so pigmented and so creamy. And then I'm going back in with that chocolate brown just to blend out the edges and further deepen up those outer corners. Next, I'm going in with the Perfect Point Plus Liquid Liner in Black Onyx. And I'm just going to line my lash line and then wing it out. This is, again, just going to elongate your eyes and make them look bigger to give you that doll-like effect. Next, I'm going in with the Exhibitionist Stretch and Strengthen Mascara. And this is just going to lengthen my lashes and just give them that nice open-eyed effect. And for my base, I'm going in with the Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation and I'm mixing the shade Golden Natural and Classic Ivory. I wanted to lighten up my base just to give me more of that porcelain doll-like effect. And then I also made sure to drag that down the neck so it matches my face. Then I'm going in with the True Blend Undercover Concealer in Natural Ivory and I'm going to conceal and highlight my under eye area. This is such a lightweight yet full coverage concealer. It just blends like a dream. And I'm also going to take this to the center of the face just to do a little bit of highlighting. So I take that to the chin, the cupid's bow, center of the forehead, and down the bridge of the nose. Next I'm going in with the Perfect Point Plus Liquid Liner in Black Onyx and I'm starting to fill in the cracks. Basically I mapped this out with some eyeshadow first and then I'm going in with the liquid liner. As you can see you want to keep the center part kind of the thickest area where you're missing part of your face. And the further you get away the thinner your lines should get. Then I'm going in with this matte black eyeshadow and I'm just shading the center of the hole. This is just going to give it more of a three-dimensional appearance. And then I'm creating some more cracks on my forehead, again kind of with that little missing piece to the center. So just going in with the liquid liner, kind of shading a little bit with the black shadow. Just get creative with it. I'm taking a little bit of cracks to the chin as well. I decided to keep them all on the spooky side of the face. And I'm also taking a little bit of that matte black shadow from the That's Rad palette just to contour my face a little bit and kind of just muddy things up, make it a little bit more spooky. Then I'm going in with the True Blend So Flushed High Pigment Bronzer in Ebony just to kind of bronze up and contour the pretty side of our doll. So I'm taking that to the jawline. I'm also giving myself a more of a like rounded defined cheekbone just to give me more of that doll-like appearance. I'll also take a little bit to the bridge of the nose for a nice nose contour. Give me more of a cute little perky doll nose. Then I'm going in with the True Blend So Flushed High Pigment Blush in Temptation and this is just such a gorgeous pink. I'm taking that to the apples of the cheek and also to the bridge of the nose just to give me more of like that flushed cute appearance. Next I'm going in with the Easy Breezy Brow Ink Pen in Soft Brown and of course had to give myself some cute faux freckles so I just dot that on my skin and then I tap it in with my finger just to kind of blend that into the skin and make it look a little more natural and of course had to fill in my brows. I love this to give me those nice brow hair like strokes and that nice fluffy brow. Next I'm going in with the True Blend Undercover Concealer in Porcelain and I'm actually using this to highlight the cracks on my face. So I'm just using this on a flat concealer brush and this is going to really bring them to life and give you that three-dimensional effect. And now to finish off our doll eyes, I'm going in with the Perfect Point Plus Eyeliner in Whiteout and I'm taking that to my waterline. This is going to really open up the eyes. And then I'm going in with the True Blend Undercover Concealer in Porcelain and I'm using this on my lower lash line again just to really open up the eyes and make them look a lot bigger than they actually are. I felt like concealer worked best in that under eye area and then I'm going to set this with this white eyeshadow from the True Naked Smoky Palette. Now I'm going in with the matte black eyeshadow from the That's Rad palette just to define that lower lash line and then I'll smoke it out with the chocolate brown from the Desert Heat palette. 
And I'm also using that matte brown shadow on my under eye on the spooky side of my doll. I just wanted to give that hollowed, sunken in appearance. And then I'm going back in with the liquid liner just to create some faux lashes. Again, we just really want that wide-eyed, dolly-like look. So I felt like this just completed the eyes. And now to get the perfect pouty doll-like lips, I conceal the corners of my lips with my foundation and then I contour the bottom and top of my lip with my bronzer. Now I'm going in with the Exhibitionist Lip Liner in Caramel Nude and I'm lining my lips, but I'm not entirely lining the lip. I'm cutting them a little short and just making them shorter and poutier than they would be naturally. Next, I'm going in with the Exhibitionist Lipstick in Enchantress Blush and this is such a gorgeous baby doll pink and has such a nice sheen to it. Then I'll take the Exhibitionist Lipstick in Seduce Scarlet to the very center of my lips just to give them even more of that pouty appearance. It's going to give it a nice ombre effect. And this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me, Alicia Aragon, as well as CoverGirl. And go check me out on Instagram at Makeup. And I hope you guys have an easy, breezy, beautiful Halloween.